The good and bad about growth hormone. For one, the good thing is that in off season, it can keep you leaner. It does this by increasing mobilization fatty acids out of subcutaneous body fat. The negative is that when you're in a high food state and taking anabolic steroids, you might have a greater propensity to gain visceral adipose tissue, which can drive insulin resistance and also make your waist bigger. So what do you do about this? Well, your number one strategy is stay lean to begin with, but also there's a multiple things that we can utilize. I want to tell you about one day is why we'd use injectable L-carnitine. Injectable L-carnitine actually transports these fatty acids that growth hormones breaking down into the mitochondria to be oxidized. It also increases expe expression of different genes that regulate insulin sensitivity. So it's a direct action on the root problem that growth hormone is creating. Now there's this and many other tools in my new glucose module lecture that I have in J3U to go over to improve this and keep us lean and keep a small waist in, as bodybuilders in the off season. So check it out. It's the last day today to join J3U.